gonna be a hundred percent. The only reason why men get married because they want to have permanent sex. Mm. That's why we get married. We you didn't get, get married because we just love. Real now, man. Come on now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Because we get love bomb in the beginning, the yeah. blow job from nine to five, three times a week <laughs> and twice on Sunday, bro. And cook me and then like, you know, throwing it back on me. Listen, yeah, you get love bomb like a mother. Before I went to the club, the pearls every Wednesday, she made sure my tank was empty. <laughs> so you saying like <clears throat> the love bomb thing is like <clears throat> when you get with a woman and she giving you all the sex you can you shoot you can take. It's a trap. It's like a trap. And then yeah, and it's like kind of a calculated, maybe a calculated trap for women. And then as time goes on, she like kind of weans you off yeah. from the sex until yeah. it becomes yeah maybe once a month, yeah, or two, every two weeks. And then or, I'm not in the mood. Yeah, yeah, I got a headache. Today, That's what happened to know. my my ex. Now she's a cat woman. <laughs> now she's a cat woman. Yeah. But did you? I don't want to get too much in your business, but did that was that a big factor in your divorce? Like, like the, because I hear it from I see it in the comment sections. Like a lot of women like kind of bow out of sex at a certain point in a relationship or a certain Facts. age. Facts. And it kind of, kind of leaves the man who is probably in his sexual prime at that time. To look at you like, like what's going on? And it right. leads to resentment. It leads to like low self esteem in men. You know what I'm saying? Because this your woman, you know. Yeah, because it makes you think like, damn, like am I not am I not attracted? I to call this it person? you ain't fun anymore. Yeah, it's just like damn, like you when you first met got me, too hey, you, comfortable. You, you, you were quick, yes, you were quick to jump on me when, as soon as I stepped through the door. But now it's just like, damn, because you got comfortable. Yeah, you're not fun anymore. You're not exciting. So they need something else mm. exciting. Trust me. That's wild, man. Oh, yeah, trust me. <clears throat> Working in the club, you know how I go. As a DJ, whew, they was coming left and right. Hey, look, your turn is on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> but what is a woman, in your opinion, what is a woman supposed to do in that situation? Say, y'all in a relationship. Mm -hmm. She was real fiery at the beginning. And then over time, you know, she has some kids or something, and, like, she's not so interested in sex no more. What is a man who still wants it supposed to do? Like, are you wrong for leaving their relationship if she don't change that? And is she supposed to have sex for you in a sense? You know what I'm saying? Listen, or is man. it is it the right decision to leave Listen, a situation man, like I'm gonna that? I'm going to be 100 with y'all. <clears throat> the only reason why men get married because they want to have permanent sex. Mm. That's why we get married. We didn't get, get married because we just love real now. Man. Come on now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we want to have permanent sex. Uh, it's facts, though. That's why a lot of men get get married. Get married. You want to have permanent sex? That okay? That's my woman. I can have sex anytime I want. I don't have to go look for it. I don't have to hunt for it. That's the bottom line. Period. You take sex out of the equation. Watch what happens. What a dumb idea to have as a young man, though. Yes. You what, find you want you, to get married. No, not to get married, but to think that that is going to lead to like a lifelong, like, oh, yeah. at will. Because that was sex. the norm. If yeah, you want to have sex with me, you have to marry me. It was traditional. If you want my daughter, mm -hmm. you have to marry my daughter if you want to have access to her. Right, that right. Makes sense. That's why they had these arranged marriages in different countries. Mm. You had to prove yourself. Right. Yeah. True that. You know what I'm saying? Now, so a woman has an obligation to satisfy, like, I'm just trying to establish that for the people, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because it's a lot of, like, I'll be seeing, I'll see a video on a TikTok, and it'll be a woman explaining that, it's trying to explain to women, like, you know, a man needs sex. A man has mm -hmm. testosterone running those. through his veins mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Them comment sections be eating her ass up. You Women be like, blah, what blah, are you blah, talking blah, about? Yeah. yeah, It's my body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and they have a point to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. I've been in the opposite. I've been on the opposite spectrum, mm -hmm. kind of. Mm -hmm. I was in a relationship. Um, I was married. And... 
I it, it came to a point where I didn't want to do it with her much anymore. You know what I'm saying? It would be on certain occasions where I would feel that type of attraction to her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And she would get upset with me that at me not wanting being in the mood and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I would beat around the bush like telling her, oh, like. I'm t- I would. It was the complete opposite. I was like, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. Like I mean, that. was it on purpose or you had stressors? Well, it could be. Stressors. I was. It could have been a phase where you had stressors. Not make excuses, but yeah. but that's sometimes. me. Like stress. I I can ha- I can be stressed out and have sex. It was just I wasn't really attracted to her anymore, anymore, or for a long time. But she was like a great person, and we had a good relationship. But the sexual attraction attraction wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? And I was trying to make it work over time. Mm-hmm. I felt like maybe the sexual attraction would come over time and stuff. But it didn't. Mm -hmm. And, like, got to a point where I couldn't take it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. And so I ended up leaving because everything else would have been cool, but I just was so not attracted to this person anymore. And Mm -hmm. I used to put off sex and shit like that. So I'm saying it could be... But it could be a number of things for women. Like, women... I don't know. But I don't think it's fair to either... Especially to the man. Because most women would say, you know... That's not a good reason to to break a relationship that that your wife not like fucking you enough and shit like that. Like, okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I see it in the comment sections, man. Okay. I see it in the yeah. comment sections. You're saying that, but you're not listening to what we're telling you. My thing is this: <clears throat> if you're not listening to your partner, how you expect it supposed to be functional? I'm telling you what's bothering me, and you're just dis- discarding me. You're ignoring me. Yeah. You're, You're supposed to hear me fact. out. Okay. All right. We have a problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's find a solution. Oh, what's wrong with you? You're crazy. All you think about is sex. Blah, 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 blah. All Wait. you think about is sex. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I know. I know. That. Listen, man. Well, when you met me, you knew what I was. So why are you acting funny now? Why are you being different now? Because when you leave me, you still have to go sex bomb the next dude in order to keep him. Mm. Yeah. So you might as well stay home and keep sex bombing me. Because then now you're starting all over again. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to have It's a cycle. It's you're going to be on the turf. On the turf. Because my grass was so green. <laughs> it was so soft. <laughs> now you're on that hard-ass turf. When that sun hits you, it's burning up. Mm. 